Hello everyone. My name is Moya Kehumpa and I'm going to take you through macroeconomics. The topic that you're going to look at today is national income. What we normally ask ourselves is what is national income? National income which will abbreviate as NI, means the total value of goods and surfaces produced annually in a country. It is the total amount of income accruing to a country from economic activities in a year's time and includes payment made to all factors of production in the form of rewards to those factors. At this point, we may want to mention the factors of production that you're talking about. The factors of production include land, whose reward is land, labor, whose reward is wages, capital, whose reward is interest, and entrepreneurship, whose reward is profit. Now, the incomes to the owners of these factors of production is national income. The payments that we make to the owners of these factors of production in form of reward is national income. So in a nutshell, what you are saying here is whatever we pay our expenditure is always equal to the income of another person. The equation above concepts to national income, but you look at two of them. The first one is gross national product, GNP. And the other one is gross domestic product, GDP what would refer to as domestic income. What's the difference between the two? The difference between the two is that gross domestic product looks at the income generated by factors of production within the country. Well, as gross national product is GNP, plus net income from a blood. There are various ways that we could measure national income. We could use total output, we could use total income, or we could use total expenditure. And those three concepts will always give us the same value. And then the fourth approach is value added approach. We'll start looking at expenditure approach. And expenditure with expenditure approach to, to GDP, national income is computed by summing up all expenditures on goods and services in a country. A national expenditure will come from four economic sectors, personal, consumption, investment expenditure, private investment expenditure, government expenditure, exports, which we abbreviate as X, and imports, which we abbreviate as M. And therefore, our GNP then, which will abbreviate as Y, or our national income, would be C plus I plus G plus X, minus m. I do refer to that as our equation one. We are told that the values of investment, government spending, and exports would always be provided. However, when it comes to personal consumption and expenditure on imports, that would have to be determined. How do we determine consumption expenditure? 
consumption expenditure is always a linear function, which is represented as A C is equal to A plus B Y. A is autonomous expenditure. That expenditure that is not dependent on income. Whereas B Y is that expenditure, consumption expenditure which is dependent on income. BY is referred to as induced consumption. It's dependent on income. Whereas A is referred to as autonomous consumption. It's not dependent on expenditure. B here represents what we refer to as marginal propensity to consume. What proportion of income is spent on consumption, and that value is always between zero and one. At zero, if we are not spending any of our income in consumption, at one, if we are spending all our income on consumption. Now, if it's anything between there, between zero and one, what we don't spend on consumption, we actually save. We try to explain these factors. We've said, we've already mentioned that C is total consumption expenditure, A is autonomous consumption, that is minimum consumption for survival when income is zero, B is marginal propensity to consume, which is the proportion of income that is spent on consumption, i.e., consumption increases by B for every shilling increase in income. And like we said, B will always be between zero and one, we said the proportion of income that is not spent on consumption, I minus B, is marginal propensity to save. And therefore, MPC plus MPY, MPC plus MPS will always be equal to one. Of course, the Y here is the level of income. And C will always be positive, eh? Because people will always consume. Then we've got a, a, how do we determine import expenditure? It's determined by autonomous imports and induced imports. And therefore, if we are to substitute or if we are to put equations one, two, and three together, this is what you led up with. It would take some time to go over that. We're still substituting it. I do that up with our equation four, which is y e. is equal to ye would be level of national income at equilibrium for an open economy would be equal to that equation and from that we could con compute consumption expenditure at equilibrium we could also compute import expenditure let's take an illustration We've been told that A is equal to 100, B is 0.75, I is 1,250, G is 3,000, X is 250, N is 150, beta is 0 0.5. What's the equilibrium national income? What is the equilibrium <coughs> consumption expenditure? And what is equilibrium imports? We, we simply substitute for our values. We relate our equation four again, and then we slot in the values. Okay. We've, we've been given those values. We simply slot them in. We add them, and we end up with, when we add them, when we add the like terms together, we'll end up with 4,450 plus 0 0.6y is equal to y. 
moving like, like terms together, read up with 0.4 y is equal to 4,450. Therefore, our national income at equilibrium will be 4,450. We divide that by 0 0.4, which should be 11,125. To get consumption expenditure at equilibrium, we simply relate our consumption expenditure with an E, add an Y with an E, then we substitute. Same case with import. At, expedition, uh, at equilibrium. Let's take this illustration. Illustration two. Please put it down. Take some time to go over it. Two minutes. And then I'll give you the solution. Attempt it, please. We are told from the following data relating from the following data relating to the various parameters in an economy, compute the consumption function, the marginal propensity to save, and the equilibrium level of national income. It's important to note that the C that we have here is not the consumption expedition. It's not the consumption function. Because you notice, this one has got y minus t. This y minus t is disposable income. All right? And we have taxes. Eh? We say that because the consumption function always takes the form of C is equal to A plus BY. And from the information given in the question, C is equal to 70 plus 0 0.9 y minus t. And this does not represent the consumption function. Neither is 0 0.9 the marginal propensity to consume. The value y minus t is referred to as disposable income, sometimes abbreviated as yd. Disposable income, also known as disposable personal income, is the amount of money that households have available for spending and saving after income taxes have been accounted for. Continuing with our illustration, we substitute for y minus t. We know t is 25. We substitute for it. And what we'll say is that t is 70 plus 0 0.9 y minus 25 plus 0 0.2 y. I've substituted for tax in this. And when you open the, outer the inner bracket, this positive sign changes to negative. And therefore, we shall have c is equal to 70 plus 0 0.9 into bracket y minus 25 minus 0 0.2 y, close the bracket. If we solve what is in the inner bracket, we shall have c is equal to 70 plus 0 0.9 into bracket 0 0.8 y. Why 0 0.8 y? It's because y minus 0 0.2 y will give us 0 0.8 y, and then we less. 25. Opening the remaining brackets, we shall have 70 plus 0.72y minus 22.5. Because 0 0.9 times 25 is 22.5. And we add up with c is equal to 47.5 plus 0.7y. And this is the consumption function that the question asked about. 0 0.2, 0 0.72 is marginal propensity to consume. The amount of income that is spent on consumption, whereas 0.72y is induced consumption, 
and 47.5 is consumption expedition. The question asked about marginal propensity to save. As we had said earlier, MPC plus MPS plus MPC is equal to 1. And hence, 1 minus MPC is equal to MPS. From the consumption function, therefore, MPC is 0 0.72. And thus, MPS is 1 minus 0 0.72, which is 0 0.28. Note, marginal propensity to save refers to the proportion of aggregate raising income that a consumer saves rather than spend on consumption of goods and services. What then is our equilibrium level of consumption? Our equilibrium level of consumption, therefore, we substitute. We know, let me pull this one here. We know that y is equal to c plus i plus G. We've already seen that our C is 47.5 plus 0.72Y. We've been told earlier that investment expenditure is 35 and government, let me take that slide. Earlier we've been told that government expenditure is 20 and investment expenditure is 35. Therefore, when we substitute for those values and we compute, we end up with national income at equilibrium is equal to 36.07. Thank you. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.